Hello and welcome to another episode of Viking Women's Basketball with Lynn Kennedy. Vikings are have a home-and-home home series against Idaho this weekend, but let's talk about last weekend first. And it was a fun weekend, certainly, to talk about, you know, a couple of game winners. Three of the last four have now been game winners. And you guys were riding high, you know, winners of four of your last five. But especially the late game winning shots, that has to give you confidence going forward. Yeah, it's probably been a little stressful for everybody watching at home, but it's been exciting for the team and, you know, to have those three comeback wins, really, um, in back-to-back -back weeks. And, you know, last week we, we came in with a lot of confidence, you know, splitting that road trip with Montana. And NAU is a hot team and they've been a good team all year. And, they're one of the favorites to, you know, come out on top at the end. And so, you know, coming into the week, we knew we had our work cut out for us. They're, they're such a good team on the inside as well as the outside. Um, and they showed that Thursday night. I thought Thursday night they played extremely well, shooting the ball from three. And then it was kind of the reverse on Saturday. I thought their inside uh, was a little bit better than it was on Thursday night. So tough, tough games. You know, I think the back and forth, you know, I thought they controlled most of the game on Thursday night. And I thought we controlled it on Saturday, but they both had runs in the fourth uh, in both those games. And we were able to withstand that, um, have our run in the end of the fourth and, and really execute, you know, the way we keep talking about all year is we're going to get better and better with practices and games. And you can see that with our team um, every week. It seems like we're taking another step um, with those extra practices and games now. And, and you can see that, especially with our last minute execution I thought our defensive stops in both games you know they had chances to tie or take the lead in both games and we came away with stops or steals and that's what you need especially as you get closer to March you know and get ready for tournament play. Yeah and the fourth quarter really has been your quarter um, you know in the three last second wins the Vikings have trailed by six in each one only to come back and win uh, you know Sunday may have been the most impressive but you guys are down eight with less than five minutes left after a 13-0 NAU run and reverse it. You know, of course you don't want to be down right, by that, yeah, yeah. but to, have, to be able to do that has to give you confidence too. It does, and I think, you know, we, we've talked about as a team the things we need to do early on to not have, be in that position, but I think it's with a young team and not having the preparation, you know, in November and December and even October and going back into the summer, you have to just take game by game. And when you get in those situations, um, our t timeouts are more important this year than they've probably ever been because we've got to change things and adjust things quickly and we've been, been able to do that, especially in the fourth quarter. And then especially with those last minute executions, whether it's offense or defense, being able to make adjustments, being able to read screens, um, you know, and, and be able to finish. And I thought we did a great job on Thursday with Jada's shot and Kylie's 500th assist. And then Dez really seen what the defense gave her. On, on Sunday and being able to execute and get to the free throw line and, and then defensively being able to step up and get those stops when you need them. Yeah, and you know, another thing you mention all the time is you need everybody to step up to yeah. win. Yep. And that's really been true in these recent wins. You know, three different players have hit the game winning shots. And, you know, beyond that, other t players have stepped up. Just to throw a name out there, Jenna Kilty had two right. huge three pointers, turned a seven point deficit to a one point deficit late Sunday. So you're getting that. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about the last month. And I think that's one of the reasons I think why we are hard to guard because we have players that can step up at any time and it's just not Dez or Kylie or Tatiana. It can be any one of our players and we've had players step up in that position and, and either offensively or defensively and, and make key stops or key blocks or, or key rebounds. And on the offensive end, making shots like Jenna did, you know, she was I thought she was on fire on Thursday night to start the game and then it kind of went away until we needed it in the fourth on Sunday. So sometimes, you know, you get that and we know at any time any of our players can step up and make big, big, big stops on defense or make big shots on offense. So we've got that ability. Now we've got to continue that momentum this week and, and, and into March really and get ready for the tournament. All right, well, let's talk about this weekend. You know, it's a home and home series with Idaho. Vikings are on the road Thursday, home Saturday. And Idaho's just one of those sister teams. You guys always have the battles. You know, you've met in the tournament the last three years. You know, I feel like we can just expect more of the same this year. I think so. You know, I think, you know, they're one of those perennial teams that's going to be at the top of the league standings. And um, they do a great job as their coaching staff and their players that step up. And, you know, it's a rival game and rival week for us. And we're excited about the opportunity to play them. And I, I mean, you can correct me, but I think most of the games have been extremely close, you know, in, in our series. and. 
Um, maybe the biggest difference was in the uh, tournament semifinals a couple years ago. So I think it's going to be a close game. You know, we, we've got a work cut out for us, you know, especially with Scout and understanding their players and taking away the three and then also taking away their inside game. Probably one of the most balanced teams. You know, you go back to Montana State, a lot like that, where they're really balanced on the outside. Uh, they can shoot the ball extremely well, but they also have good inside players. So we've got to be really good on both ends. Um, you know, looking back at last week, we were one or the other. You know, we got to be both, you know, going into this week. So defensively, we got to be ready for that. And then offensively, you know, just take what the defense gives us. You know, I think a lot of times we're, we're pressuring or we're forcing it a little bit too much, but we've got to have better fast break. We've got to have better opportunities at the basket. And when we do that, I think we're hard to guard and, and we can score kind of like we did on Thursday night. All right, there it is. A reminder, Thursday's on the road. That's on channel. 1060 on Pluto TV. Saturday's home games on channel 1051 as normal. For links and all other information, visit GoVikes.com.